In this video, I'm going to talk about the different factors associated with your prognosis. Generally, prognosis means how are you going to do over time? What can you expect in terms of the cancer coming back, both in the breast and in other parts of your body, and then overall survival? The first thing to say is that even when cancer comes back in other parts of your body, treatments are highly effective at prolonging your survival. Of course you don't want the cancer to come back in other parts of your body. We don't either. That's why you go through all the treatment that's recommended. You want to do absolutely everything you can that makes sense to you, that fits with your values in a highly informed way, the goal being not to have the cancer come back. So, even though you might have stage one cancer caught early, there is still a possibility the cancer can come back. It's very low. Now, this also depends on the biology. We have an infographic up right now that shows you your five-year survival rate and your 10-year survival rate if you have a stage one cancer that's estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor positive, and HER2 negative. So take a look at that for a minute. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the biology of the tumor. Same tumor size, negative nodes, of course, stage one, which we've covered in another video, nodes are negative. So now we're gonna change the biology or personality of the cancer. In this pictograph, you can see that the survival is different regardless of stage if the tumor is what we call triple negative. So it does not have the estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, or the HER2 protein. That's been covered in another video as well that you'll find helpful. But this is a different biology, same stage. So we'll go back to the first one where the tumor is estrogen receptor positive and HER2 negative. And now this one shows you the difference based on different biology. You can see why we will treat a triple negative cancer more aggressively. We'll use more treatment modalities. We tend to use more chemotherapy because of the difference. I'm gonna do the same for stage two. So stage, remember, just tells you how much disease there is in the body. It doesn't tell you much else about the tumor like its personality. So in this infographic, I'm showing you the five-year survival and then next to it, the 10-year survival for somebody who had stage two breast cancer. This is all stage two, we're lumping it all together with ER positive tumor, PR positive tumor, and HER2 negative. These are considered the most agreeable tumors, if you will, and people will get chemotherapy perhaps, endocrine therapy for five or 10 years, so again, you're getting everything, and you can see the five and 10 year survival. Now I'm gonna switch it up. Five and 10 year survival rates, if that same tumor size and lymph node involvement were triple negative, ER negative, PR negative, and HER2. So you can see that the difference is quite substantial. Again, this is why we use different treatment, because we wanna be more aggressive. I'll go back to the the hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative, and now show you again if it's triple negative. I'm gonna do the same thing for stage three. Stage three means a bigger tumor or more lymph nodes, and you can see the five and 10 year survival rates, first of all, are not as good as stage one and stage two. In this case, the infographics show you the five and 10 year survival rates if the tumor is ER, PR positive, and HER2 negative. Now we're gonna switch up the infographics, five and 10 year survival rate, same tumor, triple negative. More active, we don't have hormonal therapy, we use as much chemotherapy as been shown to help, and you can see these are the survival rates. Now I'm showing you survival rates, what I haven't shown you is recurrence rates. Recurrence rates mean the cancer comes back, but you still can get treated. So you can ask your doctor, What's my risk of the cancer recurring, coming back in other parts of my body? And then from that, you can also ask, what's my 
likelihood I'll survive even if the cancer comes back. And that also depends on tumor biology. This is serious stuff we're covering, and I know those infographics might be hard to see. The other recurrence I want to talk about is recurrence in the breast. If you had a cancer in, let's say, the left breast, and you had a lumpectomy, and the cancer returns, that's very different from cancer in other parts of your body. That we treat as if it's a brand new cancer. If you haven't had radiation, we'll give you radiation. If you have and had a lumpectomy, we'll usually recommend a mastectomy. Some people with more disease in the breast can actually have radiation again. This is a very different thing from a distant recurrence, which does limit your life expectancy and what you can expect going forward and the goals of treatment, which we've covered in another video. So I've covered what you can expect in terms of risk of recurrence, and that depends on the type of tumor. You can also ask your doctor, how much will treatment work to decrease that risk of recurrence? Because your recurrence risk really depends a lot on what treatment you get. We'll cover that in another video, because those, seeing those recurrence risks with treatment I think can be very helpful. The last thing I want to make sure I cover is DCIS or ductal carcinoma in situ. The biggest threat to women with DCIS is cancer coming back in the breast that had the DCIS, not the other breast. It's very rare to see it in the other breast. The risk of recurrence of DCIS depends on the treatment that you had, other characteristics of the tumor, whether or not you're taking endocrine therapy for five years, and other features of the tumor. So it's not a life-threatening condition. DCIS, by definition, cannot spread. So that's a whole different issue. You should expect your life expectancy to be as good as if you didn't have breast cancer. You'll be followed closely to look for cancer in the other breast as well as the breast that was involved. Covered a lot here. If this is helpful, like. You can subscribe to see future videos. It helps other people find this video. And also mention in the comments what other things you'd like to see if there's something that's been confusing, and I can clear that up.